When you think of your manifestation, are you feeling slightly frustrated and just wondering why it's still not a part of your reality? It's happened to all of us, even myself. So let's talk some more. Hi, Bright Light. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie Mosquera and I am a Law of Attraction Mindset Coach. On this channel, you'll find everything on Law of Attraction, manifesting, self-development, and wellness. And I appreciate you so much being here and tuning in because it shows your commitment to your self-growth and wanting to learn more. So I am truly honored to be able to support you on your journey. So let's continue to grow our community and also to 100 subscribers by the end of December 2020, a reality by sharing this video. So before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so every single Wednesday and Friday when I upload new videos, you will be the first to know. So today we are going to talk about why you are not manifesting. So when you use the law of attraction mindset, we know that whatever you place your thoughts, your attention on is what is attracted back into your life. And if you're feeling a little stressed about that, I completely understand why. And it is unrealistic for us to be able to track every single thought we have because we experience about 60,000 thoughts a day. So what we can do is to use the law of deliberate creation. And I'm going to create a series all about the laws of the universe. So you understand a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But when you are practicing the law of deliberate creation, not only are you thinking about what you want but it invokes positive emotions that let you know from your inner being that you are manifesting the right thing for you that is going to continue to promote these positive satisfying and joyous emotions but before we dive even deeper let's for a moment because so many times when we learn about the beliefs of law of attraction attracting what we want creating what we want and making it a part of our physical world we get super excited and super interested in this power and energy that we can tap into but then the reason we struggle with actually manifesting is because we first need to tackle our mindset. We first need to see what are the limiting beliefs that we are having about ourselves, about trying something new, about stepping outside of our comfort zone. If you ever notice that when you do do something new, that you start to feel a little bit nervous, your inner voice, aka your limiting beliefs, start speaking poorly to you about how you're unable to do that or how you're unworthy to accept that into your life. And the reason that you have to focus on your self-talk and these limiting beliefs is because when you are manifesting, you start off with this strong desire. You really, really want this object, this connection, this trip, this house, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you know that you really, really want it. And your desire is strong enough. But having a strong desire is not the only thing you need to manifest. You have to actually believe that it is yours. Once you make that request into the universe and you say, I want X, Y, and Z, you wanna believe that it is yours and you want to expect it you want to be open and ready to receive it as well if you're someone who experiences negative self-talk who has limiting beliefs that cause negative emotions such as anxiety such as guilt and shame you are going to struggle with actually believing and expecting this manifestation to come into your reality because your beliefs, which have been formed from society, from your culture, from your upbringing, and your negative self-talk is gonna tell you, mm -mm, it is not happening, it is not yours. So can you see how now you are at a roadblock and this roadblock is only caused by you and your self-talk and limiting beliefs. Another area that you wanna reflect on is are you obsessing over your manifestation? So once you make the request, you ask for what you want, you believe in it, you have the strong desire, you expect it to be yours. If you're already following these steps, then that is great. But if you are obsessing over your manifestation, thinking about it all the time, you are invoking negative emotion because by obsessing over it, you then begin to stress over it by thinking about okay when is it coming when is it gonna be mine I need it now so you're creating resistance between you and the universe because you aren't able to let go of your request and trust the process so view your manifestation as an online order 
Mm -hmm. That's right, I said it, as an online order. Because when you click the confirm button and your purchase has been paid for and it's on its way to you, you get an email confirmation and you know that it is on its way. You expect it. So then you no longer think about it but you are excited about receiving that order. So the same thing applies to your manifestation. I know we don't get an email confirmation about our manifestation, but there are indirect signs from the universe around us that we can notice that lets us know that our manifestation is close. And I have created a video about these indirect signs, and I will leave the link for that video below in the description box. And obsessing over your manifestation can be another sign that there is a limiting belief towards getting something that you deserve. So even reflecting on why are you obsessing? Is there some type of fear that you are experiencing? Is there some type of guilt that you experience about your manifestation that is causing you to stress over it? We have all the answers that we need within us, but it's up to us to be an explorer and to explore these emotions that we experience and analyze the thoughts that we have because it's for a reason. And when we are able to be open and reflect within we gain all the clarity and self-acceptance that we need to feel confident and excited towards our manifestation third point to reflect on is to think about what type of action steps are you taking towards making your manifestation a reality because yes there is one side to manifesting where we allow the universe to do the work, but also depending on what your manifestation is, there might be some intentional action steps that you need to take. For example, if it's getting a raise, maybe you need to take some type of course that is going to help you get that raise. So when you take that specific time out of your day to visualize your manifestation for about 10 to 15 minutes a day, you also wanna think about what action steps, what intentional actions do I need to take that will support the path that I am currently walking on. So I hope this video gave you a little more insight on why you are not manifesting. And let me know out of the three points that I made, which area do you believe you are in that is holding you back from manifesting? And you can let me know either via email or on my Instagram at bebold.befierce.bu. And if you're interested in just chatting and gaining a little bit more clarity about these blockages and what exactly they mean, I offer a free mindset discovery call and I will leave my calendar below so you can schedule a call, we can connect, and you can begin to feel confident and at ease knowing that your manifestation is coming and it's on its way. So I am sending you so much positivity and light your way. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells and share this video so we can hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's spread the knowledge learned today and share this video.